In this short video, I will briefly talk about whether expression is substantial enough to get copyright protection. This is different from the issue of substantiality in infringement, so be careful not to get the two mixed up. Whether something is substantial enough to attract copyright protection usually arises for literary works in regards to whether headlines, titles and names can get protection. The general rule is that copyright does not normally subsist in titles and names because they are not substantial enough to attract protection. This comes from the case of Exxon Corp and Exxon Insurance Consultants where the court held that the word Exxon was not substantial enough to be protected by copyright. In Francis Day and Hunter and 20th Century Fox, the plaintiffs had a song called The Man Who Broke the Bank at Monte Carlo. And years later, the defendants released a film with the same title. The court held that a name can only be protected by copyright if it is sufficiently original and distinctive. And this was not the case for the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo because to break the bank was a relatively common expression and Monte Carlo was just the name of a place. In Fairfax Media Publications and Reed International Books, a 2010 case, the court made a similar holding that it is possible for a particular headline to be so extensive and so original as to be a literary work, but this will generally not be the case. So to sum up, titles, headlines and words will usually not be substantial enough to be protected by copyright. They will generally be better protected through trademark and passing off laws, which we will cover in separate videos.